Welcome back to the Liam Photography Channel and in this video I'm doing my real world review of the Fujinon GF 23mm lens for the GFX mount system. Now if you can remember from my preview video I wanted to do a full real world review and unfortunately I didn't quite get to do that because the weather's been crap in Georgia lately and on my only days of the week off it was always raining so I didn't get to shoot any video footage um, for this review with the GF 23 lens, you know while I was in action using it I did get to shoot for my project the first week. I had the lens I was able to get Lumpkin and Stevens County So I did get to shoot quite a bit with the lens. I just didn't get to do the video I wanted to do um, For this real-world review as much as I wanted to so I'm kind of having to do it here in the studio and I apologize for that, but I can't control the weather. So as I said, I did get some really great images with this lens. It is a fantastic lens. I highly recommend it if you can afford it. It's not an inexpensive lens by any means. It's uh, I think $2,600 or $2,800 new. Um, I was lucky enough to be able to borrow this one for three weeks thanks to the good folks at Fujifilm North America. So I want to thank them for their kindness in lending me this lens. Um, today's the last day I have the lens, so I do have to ship it back to them first thing tomorrow morning. So let's go ahead and head over to my Mac and we can take a look at some of the images that I captured for my project with this really great Fuji lens. For some of the photos I captured in Lumpkin County uh, with the GF23 Fujinon lens. Uh, there's this old white building here. I'm not sure exactly what it was. Um, I had to shoot from a chain link fence that was chained and padlocked shut. Uh, and there was no signs on the building of any kind. So I'm not exactly sure what it was. This one here was an old uh, produce stand that sat along the county highway. And the next one I have here, this one was an old doctor's office that sat in downtown Dahlonega. Um, now I did enhance the sky a little bit because it was rainy and overcast that day. So my skies were all white. Uh, so I did enhance the skies with uh, Luminar, uh, Luminar AI to make the skies look better. But you can see some really nice detail in these buildings and in the images that I captured, which I'm really pleased with. I really love the quality that I get from the Fujinon lens. Uh, this one here is another old produce stand that sits along the highway. This one here, uh, I believe it was an old dentist office. I talked to a local when I was out shooting this one, and they said if they remembered correctly, it had been a dentist office at one time. Not quite sure why it's abandoned now, because it's a building that's still in really good shape. Now, uh, this one here, uh, this building on the left is the office and waiting area, and then the building on the right is uh, a part of a tire and lube. This is the main part of the office building. That's the tire and oil change and lube building over here with all the bays. Uh, this here is an old steak and shake that looks like it might be in the process of being remodeled and repurposed for something else which would be really cool. I always enjoy when these old buildings can get repurposed and reused and brought back to life instead of just being left abandoned, you know, to decay and fall apart. Uh, this one here is another building. I don't know what the business was that was here originally because you can see all the signage is gone. Uh, we have this old Cadillac that's sitting here with the for old for sale sign in the window and there's an old motor home over here in the corner. Uh, but again, great detail in the images, even in the asphalt down below uh, using the Fujinon lens. Uh, this one here was a community center. Uh, this was on, uh, on the far side of Lumpkin County near what's listed as a ghost town. And I think it's called Araria, Georgia or something like that. Um, it is listed on Wikipedia as a ghost town uh, because there's not much of anybody that lives in that area anymore. Uh, this is another building that sat next to that. Now, there is a house back here, and these folks have a camper for sale. Uh, this one looks like it might have been a storage building for the township uh, when there was an active township and, and local township government. And then the last building I have from this ghost town is this old general store here um, in the main part of the downtown area of this town. This is all that's left is this old 
general store. You can see the old Coca-Cola machine out front. And I did go up on the porch here, and the glass was missing in this pane here. So I was able to carefully shoot through the bars, uh, the interior of the store, which I didn't share that image because it was still really dark. You know, the, the Fujinon uh, 23 millimeter lens is only an f4 um, and if you crank up the iso too high you get a lot of noise but i was really surprised that the interior of this store still had a lot of the shelving there and there was still a lot of merchandise on the shelves uh, although this store looks like it's been closed for quite a long time from the condition of the building so those are the image some of the images i captured over the last three weeks of the gf 23 um, as I said, I didn't get to get out as much with the lens as I wanted to because the weather's just been absolutely terrible on my days off. Uh, but I did want to share some of the images so that you could see uh, the quality of the images that I was capturing with the, with the Fujinon lens. Okay, so wrapping up this video, uh, my review of the Fujinon GF 23mm lens. This is a fantastic lens. Even though it's an F4, uh, definitely not, no complaints there. It's great for landscapes and for my project, for that kind of work. It's a fantastic lens, super high quality. And of course it's weather sealed and everything. Uh, so I didn't have to worry about that when I was out shooting in Lumpkin and Stevens County, cause it was raining off and on that day. And I didn't have to worry about any of that. Now I'm not saying that my Laowa 17 millimeter F4 zero D is a bad lens. It is a good lens for a third party lens. But of course, this one made by Fuji is a lot better and it doesn't have as severe a lens flaring when you have really bright sunlight. And a lot of that has to do with the coating on the front element as well as the fact that the Fujinon lens comes with a lens hood that helps with uh, blocking some of that excess sunlight from hitting the front element to begin with. Uh, I don't know why Laowa doesn't offer a lens hood for theirs or why they left out weather sealing on the back side of the lens where it attaches to the camera body for you know an $1,100 lens you would have thought they could have put a weather seal gasket on the back end and even offered an optional you know additional charge lens hood if they weren't going to give you a free one but unfortunately they didn't do that uh, but this is a fantastic lens I highly recommend getting it if you can afford it and you're shooting the GFX format, uh, one of the GFX cameras, whether it's the 50R, the 50S, the 100, or the 100S, which I'm hoping to upgrade to the 100S in the next few weeks. We'll see how that goes. And when I do, I'm definitely going to get one of these lenses for myself. Again, I want to thank Fujifilm North America for being kind enough to lend me this lens for three weeks. And I will see you all in the next video.